Welcome to the Solo Nightfall for Week 51. The Nightfall is the will of Crota, and our modifiers are as follows. Angry, Juggler, and Voidburn. As always, no raid, exotic, or ascended gear, so let us take a quick look at our weapons. In this first area, there will be a lot of dregs and vandals, as well as a few captains. Nothing in this area deals void damage, so just take your time and you shouldn't have too much trouble. Once you've taken out a few enemies, you will get a group of shanks, all using solar shields, but otherwise are not too dangerous. Next will be a group of cloaked melee vandals. Again, these are not too big of a threat. Once enough enemies have been taken out, you will get a very large spawn of thralls. They go down easily, but do not be afraid to retreat down the stairs if you need to. After several waves of thralls, there will be three knights, one major, and two non-major. Only one of them is going to use void. After more enemies are cleared out, a group of cloaked shrapnel vandals and one major melee vandal will spawn. Once you get to the second floor, focus on the four sniper vandals first. As you are killing enemies, make sure to keep an eye out for cloaked vandals. When they spawn, a group of shanks will also spawn, usually in the room with you. After a while, dropships will begin showing up. There will be about four or five. Just stay in the room and snipe from this point on. When you finally begin to make your way out, don't forget about this vandal up top. Once you've managed to push all the way out, there will be several captains, vandals, and cloaked reaver vandals. The primary target here is Fixin. In this area, Jump on this walkway and run to activate Omnigool, then retreat. After pushing up a bit, there will be two Hallowed Wizards. After the Wizards are down, Run up a second time to activate Omnigool and retreat again. This time she will spawn a group of knights and an ogre which uses a void attack. As you make your way up the hill, take your time as there will be a lot of knights. Once you've made it to the final room, there will be a very large number of enemies. Take your time killing all of them. During waves of thralls, there will always be a melee knight as well. Once all enemies are taken out, you can then start damage on Omnigul. at 75, 50, 25, and about 10% health, Omnigul will spawn waves of enemies. 
just do exactly what you did in the first wave and just take your time killing these enemies. In addition, Omnigul will spawn wizards at these health intervals. Around 66 and 33% health, Omnigul will spawn waves of cursed thralls. Starting at 50% health, make sure to take out these knights before damaging Omnigul. As you can see, the nightfall is not difficult, but time consuming. Just follow the patterns for the fight and you should be able to take down Omnigul without too much difficulty. That is how you solo the Nightfall for week 51 with your Warlock. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you again in our Titan Solo.